Hey everybody, Jason here, bringing you a update on my fish tanks. Uh, not really much to tell you about the 40 gallon. Uh, everything's going good. The trickle, the tricker, tr sorry, the trickle filter is working good. I took out the carbon, which was right there, and just put more filter floss. The carbon, for some reason, always clogged up real quick within like a couple of days, maybe three three four days and the water would start filling up and it was just too much maintenance so I just got some of the bio home ultimate filter media in there and I think I want to get some more and I'll put some more down there but for now but this is working pretty good I haven't tested my water my tank needs to be cleaned there's some algae those black spots back there those spots is starting to get some algae all over I gotta clean it and do a water change but my uh, Man, my baby convicts doing really good, getting real big. There's mommy. Look at all these guys. I think I'm just starting to see a little female spotting on the sides of them. You probably can't, pretty sure you can't see it on the camera, but. No, they're coming along. I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. I don't know if I'm going to keep them all. I'm not sure if it's healthy for, I think there's like 25 of these guys. There's one of the big, bigger guys right there, hiding. He's, man, he's got to be over an inch now. But I still got some time. But everything with this tank's going good. Um, uh, I stopped using the glass top. It was just kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, a special thank you. I already did a video on this, but I, I want to say it again. Uh, thank you guys for all you who told me to put my canister on the ground instead of over there uh all the air where's the um there's the return pipe right there that really shoots out a lot of water um there's no more air bubbles that come out at all all the air is gone this is not of some people said i had a faulty unit and the seals were bad no nope, i was bad <laughs> nothing wrong is with the unit now it's perfect um there's absolutely no air getting in there at all uh it's working really really good so uh, thanks guys again for making me do that No matter how long you've been in the fish business. You always learn something learn something new now on to the fun one my new pond I Got my I got another beams work LED light from Amazon. It's a 30 inch and uh, In case any of you guys are looking to purchase one of these LED lights, which I highly highly recommend by the way the measurement they give you is the measurement of the feet, not the ballast. For example, this is a 20 gallon PetSmart tank, which is 30 inches. I ordered the 30 inch beams work light and the feet go exactly to 30 inches, not to this. It goes from this foot to that foot, not from here to there. So just keep that in mind. Um, when you the measurement of the light is the measurement of the feet so you will get the correct measurement for your tank so here's the pond i've got some there's my little dwarf frog in there i've got some neons in there who they're eating but they're really skittish i don't think they like this low level of water where's the froggy there he is. He's right down there. Um, but they seem to be doing a little bit better. I, I had originally bought six of them, and when I put them in this tank, there was only five. Now, I don't know if one of them swam somewhere, got wedged, and died, or I never actually took the sixth one out of the bag. I, I don't know. Oh, there's a frog. Looks like he wants to be on camera. So, I'm not too sure about that. Now also, I took those rocks away from the filter, as you can see, and I drilled a bunch more holes into it. Um, this added for a little bit more water flow, which will increase my gallons per hour filtration. And what I'm doing is trying to use those rocks as the biomedia, which I'm hoping of. I've, te I've tested this water already. It's, it's fine. I mean, I used water from my 40 gallon over there and... Um, I did throw a couple of lava rocks that had some bacteria on it, and I, I just, that filter is just filled with filter floss, and that's it. 
And I checked my water and it's fine. I mean, there's not too, I mean, all you have is that one little frog and five of the neons. I also got bought a moss ball from PetSmart and broke it up. We'll see how that works. I didn't have much luck with plants before when I bought some of the Amazon swords. For my 40 gallon, they kind of died. So we'll see how this moss does. Uh, hopefully this light will help. I don't have any type of supplements in here for plants at all. That's just black gravel and rocks. There's nothing in here. Um, and I went ahead and put that piece of spider wood. I've had that. You guys might recognize that from one of my older videos when I had my 20 gallon. And I put that piece in there just for the fish or the frog to hide but other than that I mean this thing's pretty freaking cool the only thing I don't like about it is you can see that filter but you kinda need it uh, I need to make sure that I can filter as much water as possible but yeah it's no oh, you can see the reflection of the LED lights in the water this LED is not the full spectrum it just has the white it's just the white and blue but it's really nice so that's the pond um, so far it's working great uh, I, th I believe it is fil uh, filtering enough I will check my water here probably by the end of the day and um, so if anybody has any suggestions for me I mean let me know um, I don't really know if I want to put any more animals inside of this I probably just will leave it where it's at you can see the neon swimming around I was thinking about putting maybe a couple of guppies in here. Maybe it'll help the neons stop being scared, swim around some more. But yep, uh, if, if anyone's watching this video for the first time and, you're, and you and you want to learn how to make make one of these, uh, check the video right before this one. Uh, it's just a quick like slideshow. I showed you how to make it. It's actually pretty simple. Um, I don't know if I told you this in the other video, but this tank is a 20 gallon from PetSmart. I just removed the trim. And let me tell you something, that was a flipping pain in the butt. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't want to go into detail. I had to freaking hacksaw it and do all kinds of stuff. It was, it was a pain in the freaking butt to get that trim off and then cleaning up all the edges. Man, it took like half a day to get this tank clean. But it was worth it, so just in case you guys are wondering where I got it, it's just a PetSmart 20 gallon long tank and I took the trim off. But, uh, okay, I think that's the update, that's just about it. Oh, and it, uh, it also has a blue light on it for nighttime. Yeah, love that blue light. Alright guys, thanks for watching, uh, click to subscribe, if you got any comments, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.